Okay, what we have here is a tattoo machine, just standard pieces, and I'm about to assemble by putting one together. We have a machine here which have various types. This one has a skull face, and you know these are the more improved type machines. You can buy the beginner's kit and you can work your way up from the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate by putting one together. We have a barrel here. We have a tip, needle, a nipple, a rubber band, and the chase for the top. And uh, right here we have disposable needles also. Just in case you want to order one, you can just avoid using the barrel in general. And just open it up, use it one time, and get rid of it after you're done. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start by grabbing this tip here. We're going to open it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it up into the front. You can see that there's a slot and a channel in between. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the bottom of the O-ring on there, which we have the handle, and I'm bringing it up to the top. This will help designate and tighten the tip of the barrel itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down for a minute and uh, explain how we put this on. What we have here is we have a stainless steel barrel, which is for outlining needles. We have other types here also that are used for shading. Now you can use different types and different types of needles so that you can go ahead and proceed with your work. Or if not, you can always order, like, like I said, the general shaders and outliners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my attempt by putting this together now. What I do is I put the tip of the stainless steel barrel in, slide it into the shaft, and tighten it like so forth. And now what I'm about to do is grab the end of the barrel and slip it into the chamber. Once I slip it into the chamber, I have the handle on top so that I can tighten it so that way it doesn't slip out and into any place. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed by grabbing the rubber nipple and sleeping it on top of the pin like a sleeve. And then I grab the needle, slip it in through the chamber, and you can see the ring on the back goes precisely over the rubber nipple itself. Now I can make my attempt by guiding the needle to see how far I need it to go. You don't want it to go no further than an eighth of an inch if you go inside to the depth of the skin. And the reason for that is because you don't want to cause any scarring. So what we do is we put the machine together and that's done. So what we're going to do is we have the cable that we make our attachments through. You can see that there's a brass fitting at the end, there's another hole also. Doesn't matter which side. What you do is you begin to slip it inside the front and into the back. And now you're ready for tattoo.